Okay, today we're going to recreate the European Union flag. To do this, we're going to learn how to use the rotate tool. Okay, uh, let me let me turn this layer off. Turn my guides back on. And also, I have a star already drawn. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Let me zoom in. Okay, so let's see how we use the rotate tool. Well, I have a star already made. I put it on top of this guide to help me out and I want to rotate this star around this point here so I take my uh, select my star get my rotate tool now I'm going to bring my rotate tool where I want it to rotate around my rotation point I'll put it right over the crosshair hold down the alt key click once this will give me a dialog box. Well, 30 degrees would be a good measurement to use because what I need, I need 12 stars to go in a circle. 360 divided by 12 will give us 30. Uh, I want this to go the other way just because it's, I don't know, more convenient for me. So I'll put in a negative 30. Hit the tab key. Okay. Looks like it's going to the right spot, but I also need a copy. So let's hit copy. All right, there we go. Now in Illustrator, to repeat the last transform that you did, transform is moving something, scaling something, rotating something. We can use a keyboard command, which is Control D on Windows and Command D on the Mac. So I'm just going to do Control D, and this will repeat what I just did. It'll rotate the star and make a copy. And let's go all the way around in a circle. All right, there we go. So I think we're done. But maybe not. Let's turn on our flag in the background here. Uh, let's turn off our layer temporarily. All right, so we're not really done. You can see these stars are all pointing straight up. Each individual star is not rotated. However, my stars are, so we have to fix this. How are we going to fix this? We're going to use another command here. Well, first of all, we're going to get rid of some of these stars. Get rid of these. All I really need, this one is okay. I need to select the rest of them. So easiest thing, I'll just select them all. Shift click to deselect the first one. And now we're going to do use another command. This is called transform each. To use transform each, we go up to object, transform, transform each. Here's our dialog box. And what do we want to type in here? Uh, well, this actually is correct already. We rotated our stars originally, negative 30. Uh, so now this was left over from the last time I did this. 30 degrees is already in here. So you can see this first star over here is OK. I'm going to say OK. Click the OK button and let's see how we're going to deal with the rest. Well, this we could use our transform again command again. The only thing we have to do is deselect this star, because this star is okay. So I'll shift click to deselect, control D, shift click this guy, control D, shift click, control D, shift click, control D, shift click, control D. Okay, almost there. Now we have to do the other side. So I could have continued to do them all, but here's a faster way. Grouped with the rotate tool is the reflect tool. So now all I have to do is reflect these five stars on this side, reflect them over to the other side. So let's select them. Get our reflect tool. This tool we use in a similar way. I'll bring my cursor over to the vertical axis. It doesn't have to be in the crosshair. As long as I'm on the vertical axis, hold down the Alt key, 
click once click the copy button and we got our star field let's turn on the rest of my flag here inside this layer I have a blue field let's just turn that on and let's see what we get so there we go there's our European Union flag so there's mine there's the original flag there's my flag much nicer because mine is vector instead of this roster image here so we can take my flag or our flag and blow it up as big as we like okay so I hope you enjoy this thank you and see you again